and happy birthday to everyone out there born August 26 today. And if you know anyone born today, please share this video with them. Um, I'm going to do a little mini reading here for the year ahead, um, what the cards say for your birthday, and then um, pull a tarot card for the day too. Um, just a special one for you guys. Um, if you want a comprehensive reading, you know, that's very, that's personal chart and astrological aspects and all that for the year ahead for you. Um, email me and I'll, I'll, I will send you information how to obtain that. Um, so I'm going to read off some traits and uh, things that I noted about people born on August 26th and then we'll get on with the reading. Okay. For everyone born out there, August 26th today. Uh, the keys to your success is um, you're basically born an executive. So those are really like up, um, areas that a lot of you would be very successful in. You are shrewd, skilled at getting the most from, from your associates. But at times you can be rather controlling and demanding. But you are honest and straightforward in all your dealings. Your aim is to make sure the job at hand is done properly and completed on time. You do scrutinize the situation carefully and consider all the options before making any important decisions, which is great. Um, you're very efficient and you have managerial abilities. And that could always lead you to great um, success in business, in the industry, in the industry field, education, science, um, teaching, uh, government. Um, you are a hardworking individual, which present, which you really possess down to earth pra um, practicality that guarantees usually, um, a great worldly achievement. Um, well, despite your ambitious nature, you're extremely patient and willing to wait for the best possible opportunity before making your move. So you have a fine analytical mind, a remarkable manual, um, diversity along with the keen appreciation for arts, uh, music, dancing, drama, literature. Um, many of you that are born today usually um, will do great and outstanding in the fields of media, uh, arts, athletics. Uh, you, you do appear to be aloof on the surface, but at heart you're a true romantic and more passionate than most Virgos are. Um, although you can be moody and difficult to live with, when you overcome your insecurities, you make a loving, caring, loyal, and totally dependable partner. Um, the vibrational number for you guys is a number eight. And that's the powerhouse money too. So that's a good number to have too. Anyway, that's, um, what your choice. <clears throat> so let's see, um, in this um, stack here, I'm going to pull like, what is a prominent, um, sign for you this year? So let's see. Oh, okay. I, I started off with prominent planet. Sorry. I, the other one has that stack. So the prominent planet in the house is Neptune for you. So that is telling me that Neptune aspects during the year are going to make major impacts in your life for the year ahead. Now, Dep Neptune is uh, currently transisting in Pisces, and it is also the placement of the Pisces um, planet. So we're talking about double whammy 12th house placements here. Plus, for you, uh, Pisces is your seventh house. So you are seeing many, many things coming out and changes and um, Neptune brings out the rose colored glasses sometimes and also takes them off sometimes. So, and there could be deception involved, addiction, um, uh, creative breakthroughs and intuition, but it's dealing with your seventh, seventh house or partnerships, marriage, anything that, you know, um, business partnership, anything that you're like married to. Um, so there will be, um, troops coming out there, evaluations there, intuitive insights there. Um, also it's the 12th house being, so, you know, you get this heavy, heavy, um, concentration there. And that is also telling me that your intuition is very heightened this year. So what it's telling me again is what the cards are saying is that any Neptune aspects, aspecting your 12th and 7th house will affect you for good or bad. It depends on the aspects and they'll be very prominent for you in the next coming year. 
So now we're going to pull uh, what sign will be prominent for you in the coming year. Oh, how funny. It's Pisces. Pisces. And we were just speaking about the Pisces, too. And this is your opposite sign. And it is the ruler of your seventh house, the twelfth house natural ruler, and the ruler of Neptune. Now, wow. So, so I'm going to repeat again what I said before. Very prominent, these houses. So um, this is just saying that Pisces people will be very prominent in your year ahead. Um, they will either hinder you or be there to help you or like kind of people, um, the, the type of Pisces t type of energy people will be around you. So um, this could be a um, future um, partner, a child, or someone you know, um, someone maybe you don't know. But it's just um, just saying that those uh, that Pisces type of people will be prominent in your chart. So the 12th house and 7th house have very, very heavy influences, and wherever they make aspects during the year is going to have a profound effect on you according to the cards. Now we're going to pull a card to see what your year or theme, oh, year ahead theme will be. Let's see what the tarot cards say. And it says temperance. This is a major arcana card too. So what this card is telling me is, you know, with this Neptune influence and that um, Pisces and that you, creativity, huge amounts of creative brilliance could be coming out. And these um, with their these type of people could be even helping you with this Pisces type of people. Also, temperance is saying things, um, balancing, balancing things in your life. You're going to be um, focused on balancing a lot during the um, upcoming year. So that is a, a really good um, card to have. It's a major arcana card, too. Now I'm going to be pulling a card to see how your day is going to go like. Just a special one for you guys for your birthday. And you get the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, don't, I know it looks scary, but it doesn't always mean that. What it means is that some things have come to an ending, some abrupt endings. So today the feel is there are some endings and new beginnings coming. Well, hey, a new birthday cycle. I mean, what to tell you? You know, happy birthday, you know, um, the whole year ahead. And look, you know, you could be going into creative brilliance here too. So that's what that card is saying. Or you're just, you know, putting an end to some stuff and just moving forward. Okay, so it looks like a really good um, uh, day and year ahead. Um, happy birthday to all of you out there. Most of all, enjoy your day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope all your wishes come true. Love you guys. Bye.